You know, now now Huni knows Nidalee is around top side. His wave's pushing away from him as we see an engage on Fox side. Fox just got ignited. This could be a kill tactical. One more auto needed, but Sorda is going to counter ignite. The W there is going to be blocked by Core JJ, but Sorda all on his own in a 1v2 is going to take out tactical. Surely, no, it's not. It's close. Oh! But it is Nautilus to get to, and Core JJ flash hook. See you later, Sunshine. It's Core JJ. He needs to be able to play aggressive as we go into the Honda performance play here down on the bot side. We can watch this one more time. The minion gets killed off right time with that hook from Core JJ. That was just so well done. Lost pushed out of the fight immediately. Core JJ also stepping in front of that Kaisa W, blocking it out. And look at Sword Art flying through the air, dies midair. And then Lost, what are you doing hanging around there, bud? Uh, it's a thing of beauty right there. No smites here. Oh, Jensen, this is a good angle. Galio flashes in. Good knockback, but the taunt still lands on the PoE. Sword Art going to get locked up at the front side as Tactic. He's going to take that one, and TL going to get just a moment's notice. In fact, Centaurans already started it. I like some of these little things that we're seeing as uh, there's going to be an all-in bot side. Yeah, all-in is good. Ulti out from Tactical, though, is going to turn it back around. And Lost is just straight up going to die to ignite as Sword Art. And there is. Core JJ can just tank the tower, and Tactical gets the full oh, channel no. of Ulti on Lost. Ooh, Speaker's in trouble. Bambi, no. Speaker, he's trapped in the cage. And Alfari is just going to shut it down. In fact, Jensen gets in there for an assist. Not bad. Yep. Bristol just chilling out. Oh, Alfari, see you later. You know, he has a kill of his own. And we can watch this one more time. So Alfari, knowing that he has to be somewhat respectful because Power of Evil wasn't there. But by the time he sees him, Huni just scoops him right over towards Power of Evil. That was really cleanly done. Uh, we'll see if they do want to go for it. I love this angle from Sword Art. Oh, the bait! Over the oh. he goes. Here comes Speaker as well. How far are you going to be put to sleep? It's not even needed. A Speaker! Around. Uh, so he plays defensive, but then he's thinking, all right, now it's my time to have fun. As we Ooh, see Core JJ Core going JJ. in. Jay setting up the ulti there with the Nautilus Assault on top of the MFO. The tactical not quite able to get anyone in their POE. Going to find a stun under Core JJ. And I think he hit Centauran as well. Another hook, though, is going to shut down Speaker and Centauran. from 0 to 5.4k, it is from 3100. Yep, uh, as we like to call it, it's a graph from Battle West. Zafari in on the power of Eve alongside Santoran into the gate you go, and Speaker with a double sleep is going to try and set something up for Huni. Santoran into the wall. Well, Speaker, that one doesn't work. Tried to get over there, but Jensen also with the ulti is going to give Lost a kill. Santoran gets it, maybe a second. Tactical. He flashes out, but Tactical ready to go as Jensen lined up the taunt, and that's two more for the Team Liquid side as Lost is just that once again. Collect him again, Tactical. Ah, oh, Fari stole it. For the Gonna play, it but it's just not working out here as Power of Evil look for the scatter. So Alfari goes in for the blind hook shot, doesn't quite connect, but then the ultimate comes in, setting up Santorin. It was a good flash on the spear, but he's still locked into that ultimate, so it was always going to go down. And then Galio coming up here. Tactical is roaming in. Yes, Santorin gets burst down, but look at the damage from Tactical. Just a couple autos. Auto Q Auto is basically 100% of their HP at this point, proccing the PTA with the collector damage on top as well, and, and even try to get over into their jungle. All right, well, Afari, oh, he's diving in. He wants the mini. No, there goes Jensen's Galio. Does get the knock up there. And see you later, Huni, as Alfari's on a rampage. Five kills now. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, they are playing at a, at a pretty insane pace. It doesn't, doesn't oh. feel like it's that early, but look at Tactical. He's going to oh. delete this guy. Tactical gets another one, make it kill number three only. Uh, yeah, that involves the level of man. Oh. No chance to contest, but uh, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This are pretty slim to say the least, as one more time, Speaker gets spotted here by that ward. Um, they know they can go for the engage, right? And 
Cordier goes in, Gale Force closing the gap, allowing Tactical to get in there, and it really only takes a couple autos on pretty much anyone. There's no one that can stand up to him. He already has the full three items here with the IE completed. Up, zeal. At least one more inhibitor to open up the door to the Nexus. Cordier, the insta flashes in after his ADC gets stunned and lost. He's just going to get deleted. Not yet. Santoran's going to make it last a little bit. Speaker is out of there as Jensen finds the Justice Punch. And now Power of Evil is also caught between four different people as Afari trying to 1v2 on the other side of the map. He's going to get a little bit of shielding there as he sh uh, shall be able to escape as Santorin moves in for the assist. And Afari still going great. Wallop there from Hooney actually, but under the tower. Golden goes Santorin and down it goes Hooney as Team Liquid find the dive. And Jensen's on a killing spree as well. They've got supers in the bot lane. That should do it. 24 minutes in. Killing TSM off in their own base, diving the towers, cleaning up the kills. This was absolute domination in the first game here with TL's fully completed roster. They crush TSM in lock-in.